Leaders just done a 129.71. Okay, okay, I've kept you in suspense for long enough. It's been over five minutes, oh god. 
Right, how are we? I hope we're all well. Hope we are all good. Got a few new people on the track today. For those who have jumped in for this video, welcome in. My name's Jay. Pleasure to meet you all. We, every Monday, open up a touring car practice for you all to practice in. I try and keep it as close as possible to the actual temperatures that it's going to be for the following iRacing week. And it's a good chance for you to test setups up, see what cars you want best. Uh, unfortunately, as you can already see from the leaderboard, it looks like it's going to be the Hyundai Cup. Yes, Honda Gang, I have let you down once again. But I, I always do this at least once or twice a season. A well, with that, shall we get to it? I think we shall. Not playing six months, going to take all day to update. Unless you just update. Road America and auto touring cars. Then just leave the PC. Jesus, the speed these lot are going around here. And then just sort of like, uh, yeah, just leave it on overnight to update everything else. It is a, there's a lot to update though. I when I um <laughs> when I was updating on season start, there there was a lot to do. All right, we are going to be. In the Elantra for the first time since VIR, which would have been two seasons ago. They flipped to the next week yet? Nope. So this all happens um, UK time, one or two o'clock in the morning Tuesday. If you are Eastern US, it is about seven, eight in the evening around that sort of time. So I sort of base it and estimate from there. But I always put these on the evening before or the day before just so everyone can get some practice in and yeah everyone wants a little bit of practice and when it's in public as well you get to see how you fare against everybody else at the same time which i think is pretty useful a lot of the time the leader has just he is dead he's got decent numbers now tcr is actually slowly slowly growing and it's road atlanta week so it's gonna be mega popular plus there's the imza michelin pilot series or challenge even which is the two hour solo race um, every, I don't know if they do it on Friday, Friday, Saturdays and Sundays, where it is multi class with touring car per hour. and You're all clear. Stay music down with touring car and GT4s. So GT4s and TCR will share tracks every two weeks. And yeah, it's <laughs> touring cars are so good. I love it. I'm a big touring car fan, usually for Honda Civics, but Every now and then, there'll be a track like this where if there's more curbs or you need to cut more curbs, an Elantra or a Veloster will be key. It's just never off on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, that's a shame. So that means you're probably going to miss Raw as well. The two hour, 40 minutes. Jeez, tire model. <laughs> the two hour, 40 minutes of uh, Daytona. Which is going to be awesome. I love, I love that race so much. Well, Road Atlanta is really good with TCR. It, it's just one of those, like Interlagos, for me personally. I, I love the track. I just can't get quick at it, which is why I am, I am resorting to Hyundai this week. I usually do a lot of Honda Civic stuff. If you check out the rest of my videos on YouTube, then you'll see a lot of stuff there. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button underneath. And thumbs up the video, because the more thumbs up that these touring car videos get, the more people who are going to see the touring car videos, which means higher participation, potentially, in future touring car races. Now, speaking of touring car races, we have signed up for another season of SRL. If someone wants to do the SRL... Uh, do the SRL command... Is a touring car league that we do that it also does gt4 as well car right what what oh play right ah tires are still not tires are still not there it takes a while for right. tires to play warm right. up hey dan how we doing mate yes if you use the srl command it should hopefully give you a link to the srl channel professional broadcasting on the races as well so even if you're not racing it the leader 
just so just done if you're not racing it, you'll get plenty of entertainment from watching the broadcast as well. What temperature of the track here? Uh, it should say, hopefully, in the bottom right hand corner, I should have it above the relative. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that, that curve's a killer. Luckily in this session, if anyone wants to jump in, the damage is off, so less time in the pits, more time on the track doing laps. Like the Highlanders a lot, they're okay, it's, they're just very meta, and uh, I don't know, it's the same when the BMW was the meta in GT3s. Nobody wants to see a race just full of one car, which is why I try and keep in the Honda as much as possible. Unfortunately, with how the Hyundai's are built around circuits like this, your hands are sort of tied, you know? One phone, so it's well small. Uh, 68 Fahrenheit track, and I know the humidity is about 55, if that makes a difference as well. If I do miss any of the chat, I do apologise. I don't have any fancy extensions to show the ch chat on my screen at the moment, and like Twitch. Which, by the way, guys, if you watch my racing on Twitch as well, check out the video description underneath. Follow all the links that are on there. We have our own Discord as well. Not as uh, active as a lot of the other iRacing Discords, but it's, yeah, just you can never join too many Discords. Plus, if you're a streamer or you do videos, you're more than welcome to post them in there as well. Posting in Discord does put you in the uh, Live Now section on the right-hand side. That's better. It's just this corner. This is my most hated corner. TCI cars, what's the difference? Are they similar performance? So they're all front-wheel drive. Um, unlike Ray, um, not race room, so it might be race room as well. But our factor two, you have the mixture of the front and the rear wheel drives. So a lot of people going with a Beamer on um, our factor two at the moment. And I would say the Hyundai does better on curbs. The Honda has better acceleration out of the lower gears, and the Audi has an overpowered start. Plus, the Audi is the original touring car on the iRacing service as well at the same time. P4. Yes, there are tags. Uh, tags, you mean the uh, commands? If you put exclamation point, then SRL, then press hit enter in the chat. And hopefully, if my bot wants to do its job today, it will come up with everything you need then. That's the best I've taken that corner for a long time. Should be able to go flat out here, but for some reason, the car's not playing ball. Just done a 127.38. I'm not getting a really strong turn circle here. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So, guys, make sure you join that. You follow that YouTube as well. On the YouTube should be uh, invites to the Discord. If you get into my Discord, though, in my iRacing section, I have posted about SRL and how to join their Discords and join their leagues. So, another reason to join the Discord just there. But yes, subscribe to that channel as well. Check it out every Friday. Sort of swaps to and from with TCR and GT4 Racing. There are a few f a few uh, all can join races coming up and a media day as well. Uh, there definitely is for Touring Car. I'm not sure if there is for GT4, but I would have imagined there would be because both uh, both series do like to mirror each other with events. So if you like racing both Touring Car and GT4, you could even join both leagues and you'll always have something to do on a, on a Friday evening. Perfect, right? For those who are new in today, how are we? How are we? It's Monday. It is six days until Christmas. I'm still working all week, but once that Friday hits, my God, are we partying. On the Twitch, we'll be doing a load of different the leader is just racing a and community games as well. What we do other stuff apart from racing on the Twitch? I'm going to be playing through Sector the whole of High on Life, which if you haven't already seen High on Life, it, it looks absolutely hilarious and I cannot wait to do a full playthrough on that. I'm also going to be doing Police, police Officer Simulator, which I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared how that game's going to go. I'm, I'm very worried that we're about to get banned from Twitch on Boxing Day. But it's alright, because we've always got here. 
the one that feels like the Ford GT3 got faster this season. No, it has got quicker. It's when I've been looking at bop times of that Ford, and it's definitely caught up a little bit. To the point where it's actually quicker than the Merc in some races. What a terrible corner. I'm surprised I'm as high as fourth. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, but I don't like buying too many GT3s because I don't race GT3s. That's the point we are doing, me and Grazer are doing the three hour VRS on, bo on uh, Christmas Eve. So if you want to laugh, you'll love that. As well as doing the Road Atlanta, IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. Oh, and yep, I've had the same, same fate as most people going to on that corner. Well, have I missed anything in chat at all? I hope I haven't, but... Should probably left remind side. a lot of people that there's uh, no damage. Uh, I'll just quickly do that now. Just a reminder to all, if you haven't already seen, there is no damage on this session, so more time on the track, less time in the pits. If you do hit a wall or hit anybody else, give it about 5 seconds and your car shall repair. Good guy Jay. Hashtag that. It's better, can cut a little bit of that curb, cut a little bit of this one. Nice and wide, that might be an off track. Oh, we survived it. We do some dirty self promo in the session as well. Dirty self promo. If anyone sees if I'm going wrong anywhere on the track, you are more than welcome to let me know what's going on. Yellow flag. What's Watch Anthony out. doing there? I hope Anthony's alright. It's going off track. To one is Damn it. Off the I need base. to come in wider. And maybe turn a little bit harder, less acceleration. So it pulls me out a little bit less. Oh, and that's another one gone. Pressure two three power on fucking moaning cheapskate. That must be the Scottish in me then. Should have turned earlier. Blind right. What? A little bit of a scare, but it's gonna send me out. That ruined. Oh, I've actually made it into the 129 though. I don't know what my record is in the Civic. The leader's just done a 127.25. I think with similar temperatures, we have managed to get it into the 28s before. It took me a lot to do though. Never watched still game. I've watched two or three bits still game. Another reminder to all if you haven't already though hit that thumbs up. More people that see these videos could potentially mean more people driving in the TCRs or GT4s if they're looking for GT4 stuff on this track this week as well. Because I have tagged have put them in the video description. It does get a few GT4 searches in. And then people find out that TCRs are better, so then they buy a TCR, and they watch more of my videos, which means I get more ad revenue, which means I buy more tracks, which means I make more videos, which means more people see the videos, more people buy TCRs, you know, it's, it's that disgusting, vicious cycle, I love it. P2 
Right, right breaking a little bit later this time. I was hoping I could turn it in. I need to turn it in a bit earlier next time. Got to remember that TCRs do have a lot of understeer on them. They will throw you out to the edge of the track. Something I need to slowly learn a bit more, especially when I'm doing a, another season of SRL. There's some very good people in SRL. Sector 1 is 1.8, off the pace. Don't need to panic. Much better exit, look at that green at the top. So, so far, Ross and Callum leading the way into the 127s. David Barker afterwards. We have Christoph above with myself, surprisingly, in fifth. I definitely not stay in fifth. Once again, just forgetting to turn. Take these corners nice and wide. Late apex. That already got us a little bit of a head start. Nice early turn. That's too early. With too much speed. Just be very careful on the rejoin. We've got someone else coming around the corner, so we won't rejoin too aggressively. I will have to give myself a new paint for tomorrow as well, because I think the sheep ones. People don't like the sheep paint scheme. If you're wondering what I'm on about. For some people, so for some reason, people people don't like the sheep. And I don't know why. I think it's great. I think it's funny. But... <laughs> I don't know, you lot tell me. I might keep it. It's a lot of effort me designing a new livery. I don't feel I could be bothered as well. That's the only time that I use the Elantra is because everyone else uses it. You know what? No, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, quickest lap. Leave Sean alone. <laughs> Whew. Jesus, how close we're getting to some of those. There's Ross at the moment. Ross's quickest lap of 127.2. Does have, I think that's Calum right behind him. It is. Calum's very quick as well. Calum's in a SRL. The guy behind Keeps, has just uh, done everyone a at the top on their toes. The leader has just done a so like he's nice. Point two one. Point two one. That is disgusting. So I'm taking third in this corner. Bit late on the acceleration, but that's a good thing because it doesn't throw you out. Brakes a little late, uh, later than I do there, so turns very early there. Keeps it in second gear though. Okay, I do go first just to break with the engine a little bit, but to be honest, I probably don't need it because the corner's going uphill slightly. So you can kind of use that to slow you down. See red, not green. Was that third through the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Then this could just depend on the setups as well. Like his Ross's setup might just favour third gear a little bit more in certain places, so Yeah, okay, good to know though. We're on our race setup at the moment, so we'll carry on jumping out on that. Uh da -da -da -da. Right. just thinking of funny to Ah yes. Hydrate, very important. These Monday streams usually go on for about an hour, hour and a half. 
when we race in the SRL, we don't stream it on Twitch, we stream it on YouTube. So if you haven't already checked out some of the SRL stuff, I do keep it on the channel. So have a look through the playlist, you'll be able to find it all through there. It's a nice long hour and a half, two hour sessions, which shows a lot of the practice, qualifying, and both races, including a reverse grid main event. Definitely worth watching. Exits clear. You see me get bullied. If that's your thing. Uh, just looking at the positions. Anthony, if you can hear me, your uh, I don't want to say it on the in-game chat, but if you can hear me, your aim is to get it into the one thirty ones by the end of this session. So I think for your split, because this race will definitely split quite a bit. The leaders just a one thirty one would be a really good time to get with no uh, no slipstreaming. When you got slipstreaming, because after this corner, corner seven, it is literally a, a slipstream fest. But you gain so much time slipstreaming here in a, in a pack. Yeah, if you try and get it, you, you're nearly there already, actually, already in 132.2s. And also, to anyone who joins, if you're underneath 2k, and you end up joining these sessions, and uh, your best is a 131. Well, in that case, get yourself into a 130. Jesus, you have you have a pro wheel now. Got something that actually gives you force feedback. Okay, get yourself into a 130 then, you shouldn't have said anything. The guy behind has just done a 130.87. E7. Too much speed into that corner. That was close. Slow down. What did I cut the course and gain time? You'll need to give back the time gained. Apparently so. So we have four sectors on the course. Let's see if I can get a quicker third and fourth. We had a quicker corner somewhere. I don't know if it's the speed that we took into six or if it was the speed that we took into seven that gave us extra time there, but it's going to be the quickest we've done this sector, is. regardless. Two seconds off the pace. Once again, I'm just not turning. My line is terrible through that last corner. Sure, we can get into the 129s. Just need to make up eight temps from somewhere. So let's just drive a bit calmer. Not like that. Not like that. Oh god. It's fine. We're not panicking. Hey, Alexander. Just do not take the Honda and you should be fine. The leader has just oh, no, it, it was hard. It, it was so hard to not just choose the Honda, but... I've, I've gone with the Elantra this week. I feel dirty. I feel disgusting doing it. But what's done is done. Tend not to use so much brake and stay out of the uh, ABS. Yeah, I need to. I need to get used to driving the Elantra rather than the um, like how the Elantra drives rather than the Civic. It will take a few laps. I've got to get all this muscle memory out of me. Let's give it a shot this time. How are we today, Mark? I hope you're good, mate.
Oh, it's just that little carrying too much there. I need to stop doing that. The less of that, the better. Good mate, you. I'll be fantastic on Friday. Once, once work's done for the year, I'll be a, I'll be a happy, happy man. Yeah, I see some green and some white at the top on the telemetry, which and so I am kind of going on the right track there. Yeah, that was a bit better. A bit better. Not perfect still, but... Has changed driving. When you drove the same for ages, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Right, try and take this in third this time. Right, the third's so much more controlled. So much more controlled. Look at that, straight away. Just be more controlled rather than just trying to rush through it. Sector 3 is 0.27 off the pace. There we go, a little bit more control again. And there we go, just smoothness. It's a nice challenge with the touring cars is that sometimes you just need smoothness rather than being aggressive in the corners. And it's, it's incredible with these cars how much that actually makes a difference. Look at this. Everything is instantly better already. Rubbish corner there though. But apparently it's still quicker than what I usually do. So I'll take that. Is that the same with the pickup? Absolutely. With the pickup though you don't have the uh <laughs> don't have the advantage of the ABS pickup you uh if you if you're about to do your first time in the pickup you're in for a nasty shock but that's not always a bad thing and rubbish corner there oh, that lap was going so well then I go and spoil it all by doing something stupid like that Right, better next time. And that's actually my quickest lap. Seventh position. That's your fastest lap. That puts you 2.8 seconds off the pace. Man, imagine if I did mess that up. The leader has just done a 127.00. How are we doing today, Luxury? I hope you're good, mate. Oh. Ah, I've got to change down to five. Right, let's uh, let Christopher through. Let's make sure we give him a little bit of space because I don't really want slipstream dictating how quick I'll go down certain parts of the track. Uh, it was my first time driving it this uh, week. Had so much fun. And actually pretty good in it, which is good. Was second split. Uh, then gained enough for top split. Even got a P3 top split. Yo, that's awesome. Ah, oh, great stuff. What was you driving before the uh, P Cup? See, just the smoothness. F3, F4. Okay. I think the F4, you got to be careful with the brakes on that, right? And same with F3 as well, actually. Mate, how's yourself? Yeah, once I'm off Eighth for Christmas place. holidays, I'll be absolutely grand. Fantastic. Lancho, are you feeling okay? No. No, not today. But uh, the, the Honda is at a severe disadvantage here, so I need to... It, it, I probably do one or two races per season where I don't use the Honda. This is one of them. I nearly won IMSA Michelin Pilots Challenge last season here in the Veloster. 
and then a GT4 hit me and gave me a penalty at the end. So I'm hoping to potentially avenge that because it was heartbreaking to watch. Absolutely heartbreaking. The guy behind has just done a 129.89. Don't want slipstream. I can help it. No, it's 1.4 seconds, but still don't know how much extra that's going to give you. Sometimes they kill the Honda. Absolutely. It's one of the main reasons I am uh, swapping across to St. Kels this week. Yeah, when, when I don't get smooth through that last sector, I, I end up losing anything from a quarter to half a second. That is still my quickest time yet so far today. I seriously You're think seconds off the pace. a 128 is attainable. Is off the pace. The leader's just done a 126.89. It's got to be smooth, flowy, like a salmon going up a river. Second off the pace in sector one. Second off the pace in sector one. Oh my god. Ross, if you're watching, don't do my split tomorrow when I get in from work. So when I record rubbish corner. When I record my YouTube races, it's usually around this sort of time on Tuesdays. So if you're ever free and you want to jump in and see if you can get the same split as me, you're more than welcome to. Oh, for eight months from now, I need more practice here. Well, you're in the right place to get more practice. What uh, setup are you using, Nancy? Because... Oh, once again, just... I'm messing up there. It's two hours until your league race. Is that the... Um, SGN league race? That you keep trying to force me to join? World Cup final, mate. That World Cup final was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely amazing. The sprint. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. Uh, sector 1, I've got problems. Yeah, I seem to be a second slower than Sector 1. Oh, that's a better corner there. There you go, a bit green up there. And I'm just not slowing down the car enough for that corner. Which means as we go along the road, along the straight, I'm, you see at the top, I'm just slowly losing time. Ronaldo fan knowing the through and through, but seeing Messi finally get the World Cup was something special. Hmm, absolutely. You gotta love that uh, celebration from Martinez as well. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was beautiful, a tear to my eye, special. Ah, oh, too far. No one clipped that. but I can't find the second. It's this corner. They're, they're, they're doing something in this corner that I am unable to do. Jesus, that's close. It has not the place. <laughs> it's, I don't know which commentary you had on, but we had a... Uh, I had um, ITV. So you could hear Gary Lineker. He's just like, oh, you don't want, don't want to do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Who is it? It's Gary Neville. Um, Gary Lineker and Roy Keane, I think it is, we had for the final. Ali McCoist on comms with, uh, I can't remember who does commentary with Ali McCoist, but they're brilliant. Ali McCoist is just such a great commentator. <laughs> Comes up with some, some shit, but <laughs> what did he say? He said about Mbappe's hat-trick, it was the first hat-trick in a World Cup final where the ball had actually crossed the line. I was just like... I'm English and even I found that funny. 
No, Jermaine Genius was a uh, BBC. As soon as people found out he was commentating on BBC One, they just switched straight away to ITV in the UK. No, nothing against Jermaine Genius, but just, yeah, not for a World Cup final for me, personally. Much better there. Slide through. Don't rush through here. If you have to lift it off slightly, just keep hugging the left hand side. Do it. Should be able to take this bit full on. Don't hit this curb straight on the front. You kind of do have to go round. Don't take the corner like that. Though, if I had survived that, then I probably would have dabbed. Yes, amazing World Cup final. Enjoyed it. Didn't think much to uh the guy behind has just done a 129. Messi sort of being forced to wear <laughs> robe afterwards. I felt that was a little bit unnecessary. Maybe for some pictures afterwards, absolutely, but for when he's standing there with his team all in their own like kits and stuff wasn't needed but that's a, a topic for a different conversation at a different time all right Jay you've got half your fuel left yeah so I did it earlier in in the stream uh, what I do at the end of the stream is usually we usually do the quickest lap of the whole whole session then but I put little time time stamps in the comment section so you can just click the time and it will automatically go over to when I've recorded the laps I'll be doing the same for my own personal lap if people want something to sort of like beat which yes I'm aware guys my lap at Interlagos last week was absolutely shocking curb just completely threw me off the line there I've looked and the main difference between me and Ross is pure talent. <laughs> pure talent. He he makes his car do things I have no clue where to start to learn. And I think anyone who watches the um, the Craig setup shop videos where Ross does a lot of stuff will will, will agree with me. There's a reason why he's uh, always up there in the World Touring Car League. I think he actually won the last one. Off the top of my head. Oh, too much speed again. Need to break a little bit earlier. But guys, this is a free session to join. Just look for uh, TCR practice. At Road Atlanta. How much have I got left fuel? Nine laps of fuel left. So what we'll do is... We'll do to the end of this tank. And we'll play around with the qualifying. That's so usually I do I do a couple of laps on the race, then I do the qualifying setup, and then we do we run a whole tank of fuel towards the end. But I'm gonna do something in a slightly different different order this week. Determined to get that 128 though. 128 is my aim for today. I know that's not gonna be sector one is one point for some of you, but for me it is. slowly chipping down the time of my optimal as well just a reminder there in the chat do hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are trying to get to 1800 subscribers by the end of the year I think we're less than 15 there now was great but we still kept it in not going to be losing as much time have a good feeling about this lap 
Let's just Back take this move. Lap today. You're currently 2.3 seconds off the leader's pace. Just take it nice and smooth this time. Watch out for that little off track that usually pops up there. Short shift up to fourth quickly. This just allows me personally to be able to control a little bit more. Sector 1 is 0.9. Off Use the pace. all the curb if you can. No, I'm using uh, CSS. Oh, I would say, Callum. Good to see you, mate. Much better on that corner. Jesus, I needed that. I just want to get, get in the 128s today. Okay. Could give it a shot. And we finally got in the 128, so that's uh that's your best lap in this session. Sector three oh is my goals. zero point three eight off the pace. Uh but we messed it up on there. Hi Ant. Bye Ant. Probably hurting the tyres a bit much there. Uh, I've lost momentum on that one. You're a second off in sector one. Damn it! Good, good, there, good exit. Thank you. <laughs> so I went all bloody um, fucking Looney Tunes there for a second. I think it's Ross. Yeah, it's Ross. Ross is the one who's doing the uh, demonstration videos usually. Oh, hang on, Phil Lantra though, wait, no. I didn't see the initials on it actually. So Vivid, if you go to hosted sessions. Sector 2 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Go to hosted sessions, I would sort out by track order. Look for Road Atlanta and the TCR session is a minimum of a DE class license to join, so that should make it a bit easier to okay, see. Okay, Jay, you've got 10 minutes of no remaining. passwords, no damage once you get into the session. I'm not fast, it doesn't matter. The whole point of these sessions is to practice and get quicker. So, if you join the sessions, you can watch other people's laps, maybe learn how they're doing the laps. Plus, there's this stream as well. Um, when this stream's done, it will be available as a VOD to watch. Let's, uh, let's use up the rest of this uh, tank though, and then we'll have a look at this other session. Thanks again for that, Callum. Yeah, no, even if you you don't feel you're quick in the session, this is probably one of the better sessions to join to learn how to be quick. The temperatures should be around the same as what they're going to be on the official sessions. Plus, you can see other people on the leaderboard who might be around your eye rating, so you can sort of compare how you are to similar similar eye rating people. Just a reminder to people, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Give a nice thumbs up to there as well, because then it reaches more people. And I don't usually ask this one, but when the stream is finished and you're allowed to put comments underneath the video, feel free to chuck a comment under the video on how you think you're going to get on with the track this week, if you're going to be doing IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, that sort of thing. And yes, I'm sorry to everyone who usually watches me drive a Honda. I'm so sorry. Sector 3 is 0.47 off right, the so pace. So five laps of fuel left, so we'll do that first, then we'll check out this other setup. See how it is. Ah, damn it. Cool, found it. See you in there. 14 have joined at the moment, which I was expecting a couple more, but the session lasts for about four hours. So although we only stream for about an hour and a half of it, the session's still going to be left open. 
So the earlier you join, the more laps of other people you get to see. Bit of a better exit. Not as good as I have been doing. We're catching up to Pete Newman. 5.8k. Whew. Straighten out the car as much as you can on the exits. There we go. Bomb, good to see you. Hope you're good, hope you are well. That's better, that was a lot smoother. Smooth like butter. There we go, we've got some green at the top. Ooh, God, felt that with the curb. Sector 1 is 0.9 track for the it. Just got the uh, direct drive wheel, getting used to all the feedback. Way different from a Logitech. Nice, which one did you get? Is it the Logitech direct drive you got, or did you uh, grab something else? Like the VRS wheel or uh, VRS. VRS have their own direct drive, don't they? Or do they just do the wheels? And there's SimCube as well. Hello, I'm doing all right. Good stuff. Good to hear. Good to hear. Oh no, don't apologise. It's fine. There's just so many, so many direct drives, and I think a lot of people in this session use so many different variants of equipment. Oh, that's gonna be a trap. Uh. That's a shame because that gave me an extra two temps. Oh, good to hear, Pom. Good to hear. Nearly Friday. Is it too early to say that? Is it? I don't think it is, but. Yeah. Luckily, even if I did hit the wall, no damage in the session, so. Do you drive much uh, touring car at all, Vivid? Or do you usually drive different classes? Uh, series, sorry. Okay, Jay. We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Gingerbread. Oh, I could kill for some gingerbread right now. I need gingerbread. I need, I need somebody to feed me gingerbread like while I'm driving. Just, just be like, yeah, I'm on a straight. Hopefully it's because I did that that I just got the subscribe. <laughs> Callum, thanks for subscribing, mate. <laughs> Are you racing SRL League again, mate? Yes, I will be. So if someone wants to do the SRL command, those who aren't already doing the SRL League and you're interested in viewing some SRL, hot SRL action, unadulterated, to a point, then check out the link that should be in there. So about 10, 10 minutes ago, really? Oh god. I don't know if it's a stream elements thing or if it's a YouTube thing. That's perfect. Thanks, Brom. So check out our channel, throw a subscribe over to it. There's loads of info in there how you can get involved in the leagues as well. The more people that join the leagues, the more fun that they are. And to be fair, they're pretty, pretty good sized grids anyway. Over 20 cars easily per race. It's every two weeks as well, depending on uh, how much you want to do on that league. So it's not like uh, you have to learn a new track every week. Plus, like I said before, the race is uh, professionally broadcasted. So even if you're not racing, you can always check out the videos and, and watch the race as if it is a real race. Those who aren't uh, used to seeing setups like that. They all start in February. Sector 2 is... Um, oh, someone could probably help me with this one. 
So I think SRO was over. I think SRO was 12 or 14. I can't remember. But it's not like a. Uh, uh, what's the term? It's, it's not like the World Tour and Car League where it's horrifically high IR people. With SRO, always going to have somebody to battle with, which I think is mo like, most important for a league. You're now 2.3. I, I definitely pace. recommend Sector it though. Three is 0.32 off the pace. We're running I off make, uh, in this lap. I could make all the races unfortunately last season due to work. But now that the overtime is hopefully done for a bit, I can now uh, get a full season under my belt. No, 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 no. It's not charged per race at all. No, you don't have to worry about that. There we go, nice and smooth. So far, so good. What are we on? 128.8. See if we can get underneath 128 and a half. Two liters remaining. Go. Yeah, no worries, Grazer. Speaking of Discord, someone could do the Discord command. Well, I'm more welcome to join the Discord. Trying to get a bit more active, but I appreciate there's, two is there's much more active i racing and gaming and streaming left. discords out there. You can never join too many discords. Plus, if you make your own videos or do your own streams, you're more welcome to post them in there in the relevant channels. Uh, not the greatest exit out of there, but good egg, uh, entry though. Hopefully, that's my quickest lap yet. One litre remaining, P6, nice. that's your best lap in this session, you're currently We're only seconds getting quicker, which is awesome, nice, 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 let's move out the way of everybody else, ah. right, Discord should work, hey, it's, it's nice when, when the links actually want to work, you know, Right, for some reason... Ah, there we go. Just making sure I haven't missed anything in the chat at all. Uh, yeah, I need I need gingerbread. So bad. Right, so that's the... That's the... I'm right, just clicking through everything, so bear with me. Uh, bear. Sorry. It's... it's, it's I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, means I can chuck in the other setup as well. Right, RM. Oh, it is Ross who does the setup for this one then, but we can try uh, try the other one out. And what's this one? It's... Uh... That much fuel. Okay, jump in. Thank you, Callum. Appreciate it, mate. Give us a shot. Or we get some uh, starts done as well. Stay behind the line. I do realize there's someone just about to like, come out of the pit, <laughs> come alongside me in the pits there. Whoops. Well, we'll give this uh, one or two laps just to calm down a little bit. What time are we? We're just approaching to an hour of the stream, so what we'll do is we'll run this tank empty and let's try and beat 128.6 with a legal lap. Try and iron out any parts of the track that we're still not certain of. Fix our lines, our breaking points, especially going down to 10A at the chicane. That's uh, that's going to be a real difference maker. If I keep getting that wrong, that's three, four temps per lap potentially lost. And at the same time, we need to get better at turns one 
and five. Yeah, my line needs to get a bit cleaner through there. I just saw Habib jump in, so Habib's very quick. Uh, tires, you can go to temperature if you want. Front wheel drive is so weird. It is when you first start it. But I, I feel front wheel drive is definitely uh, a vital skill to try and learn if you want to get better at your Sector front wheel control. Especially if you've got new pace. pedals. You won't be driving front wheel drive really. I'm not being biased at all. None, none of us are being biased in here, right? One thirty points, dude. That's awesome. What, what was your record for the lap? Was it a one thirty point one? Yeah, I need to hug the left hand side a little bit more to maximise the efficiency of my exit. Through that chicane. The thing else you'll learn with, with front wheel drive is just the amount of oversteer. Sorry, Sector understeer. Idiot, Jay. Understeer that you do get a lot of these corners. To really try and get as smooth as you possibly can. S smoothness wins the day. That does not win the day. Best was 131 points. Oh, you smashed it then. Dude, congrats. Do you reckon that's the, uh, your new wheel? Helping you out with that one. Ah, I could have... Could have rode that corner a little bit more there. A little bit more. I didn't even touch it. It was an apex somewhere. Those who are unsure over the schedule that this YouTube channel usually does. Every Tuesday we try and release a video based on the reset of touring cars per week so there will be a Road Atlanta video tomorrow. Uh, bonus points if you can count during that video how many times I accidentally call it Road America. Hey Magnet, good to see you. So what, we all do it, right? Hey, Miko's coming. We've seen a lot of uh, familiar names in here now for the practices every Monday, which is always good to see. Uh, Sorry, not warmed up yet. Can't park there, mate. The best with the old wheels are 134. <laughs> mate, that's, uh, that's growth, to be honest, just there. Sector one is Yo, magnet. off the pace. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Four months of speedy boy J. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much, mate. Four months of the silver tier. Joining the channel. As you don't know what that is, if you look underneath the video, there is a join option. You get a few emotes in there. But it's a monthly reoccurring subscription to the channel and to be honest it goes straight back into my race and so anytime a new car pace. comes out or a new track comes out that i feel i could be uh, covering then i pretty much use the money to help create more content which hopefully is nice and entertaining to you lot i would say it goes towards my energy bills but my god i don't expect anyone to ever give me anything near that much Twitch pays for that D6. one. 
Sector 3 is 0.7 off the pace. Thank you again, though, Magnet. Legend, and that's not legendary, though. Okay, calm down, calm down. Need to slow down, give back some time. So I've got nine seconds to means whoever's behind. Right, it's now next set, sir. Now I'm glad you're loving the uh, loving eye racing with that new wheel ant. I say that you'll uh, get back above a 1k in no time at all. Alright, I'm just looking where uh, the stack up compared to other people in similar eye rating. Okay, this is, isn't one of my strongest tracks, so not that I'm making excuses already, but I'm definitely making excuses already. I'm, I'm very happy with how quick I seem to be going here. Uh, force factor? Um, good question. I will give you my settings. Yeah, so... Anthony's got a similar, uh, a similar wheel to mine. In fact, he's got the exact wheel. Exact same wheel as me. Just the PlayStation variation, so... Got a new global remote. Nice. Don't hit that curve like that. Uh, I can't remember what my force factor is, to be honest. I'm halfway through this this uh, fuel, so have a look on Google. If you just Google your your wheel and put in force factor, I'm sure there's a whole Reddit post on what people have got their set at. If not, the iRacing forum might actually have some on there itself. Is this the car for next week? Haven't checked yet. I would probably say this and the Veloster are the best cars for next week. Sector 2 is a second off the pace. It is pretty much going to be the, the Hyundai Cup next week and I hate it. I hate it when it happens but sometimes you've just got to grit your teeth and not do what I just did there. I'll make you... Um... See I've got some uh, Club Sport V3s at the moment that I'm using. They're just not attached to anything yet. I'm, e I'm sorting out my house situation is, before anything else at the moment. I don't have the, the room for a rig. But when I do sort all that out, I am getting my rig. I'm bolting these pedals to it. I don't know about getting a new wheel straight away. But I think a uh, new monitor will be on the list penalty. as well. Regenmeister, how are we? What's up? Not much. It's a uh, usual Monday, but it's the week before Christmas, so one more week of work and then I'm off for a little bit, which is good. I can't wait. I hope you're well. I hope you are good. Everything static makes so much of a difference. Yeah, and once everything's static, it means I can push harder on the pedals as well, so I don't, I don't want to get too used to how I'm driving at the moment with... Uh, Fault on brakes because that will completely change once everything is a little bit more solid. But at the same time, I kind of want to hit that. I want to hit 2.5. 2.5 has just been eluding me for some time. I have a good feeling about tomorrow's race that I could potentially hit 2.5 tomorrow. If I don't get it tomorrow, I'll definitely get it on Saturday. I was hesitating to buy the BMW Hybrid. Have you uh, bought this one? I have. The car scares the shit out of me. It's. Uh, do you have any any experience driving the LMP2 or the old LMP1? No, it wasn't built in the day. Absolutely, I agree. I'm not stressing too much about it, but when when it's so close, you kind of just want to reach out and and just grab it. 
Sector one is sometimes with two hands. It, it depends how big the. This is this isn't going to sound good, is it? You know what? Let's let's talk about something else. You have the P217. If you like driving that, I would definitely recommend getting that hybrid then. It is a lot of fun, and I don't usually drive those cars. I, I had a blast though. Better than the LMP1, to be honest. Have you seen two new pieces of Twitter drama? It's definitely a thing. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I want to keep that drama well away from here. But, I will say this. It's always weird, like I like I put on Twitter earlier. It's always weird that the people who are who have got drama against them, I've already muted them from sunk in the past. It's weird that. This is almost as if I can tell. It could have definitely have been misconstructed as lewd. No. Nah, um, one of them, you have to really see the whole story, because it has definitely been taken out of context. The other one, I'm not even interested in talking about, don't even want to give it a second more of my time. But yeah, no, if you enjoy racing the uh, Delara LMP2, then definitely get yourself onto that hybrid but it's, it's what I usually say with a lot of cars anyway if you if you're only going to use it for a couple of races it's probably not going to be worth it but if you see yourself using it as one of your main cars absolutely definitely buy it every time nothing vivid nothing that'll be uh, my final word on any drama you're a second off the pace in sector 2 I try and distance myself away from it as much as I can. It makes life a little less stressful. That's better, that's better, but I should have put my foot down a little bit sooner there. Cars go boom, cars go brrrr. This is a pretty comfy setup though. I'll have to have a quick look at the times afterwards to see what sort of... Um you're currently 2.8 off the pace. You've just done a 129.66. That was a much better corner though. Ah, oh, we got bloody off track. Hopping that corner like that kind of made it a little bit worse for the following one. Uh, we've got David right behind, so try and move out of David's way if we can help it. Uh, we'll do it on the main street. People are too fast in this session. What's your um, I rating, Vivid? So sad for the defeat yesterday. Uh, I, I think whether or not your team won or your nation lost, yesterday's World Cup final was incredible. So good. Let uh, David go past. 2k. Well, you're in the right. You're in the right place to. On your right, clear right. Get it quicker, you know. Frank's coming along as well. Get a pass right for him as well. It's Frank. Oh god, I didn't realize Frank was that close. Luckily for yourself, though, Vivid. Everybody that you see in the session is not going to be in your split at the same time. Like tomorrow, I think I might have Mr. Jimenez tomorrow. Jimenez tomorrow. He'll be in my session tomorrow, possibly. Uh, car number six will be as well. And everyone else, probably won't see him until maybe pilot, si pilot challenge on Saturday, you know? But it's a good place to Watch some laps, see where everyone else is getting quick. Remember, uh, it's open setup as well that you're racing here, so if you end up doing the fix, the it's going to be a little bit more even, you know? We need to stop Doom preaching it. There's a new tip. Yeah, I love the Doom scrolling and Doom preaching.
uh, 1.9, we're not quick enough, or oh, sorry, we're not close enough to get any uh, slipstream there, so. Yeah, if, you, if you're 2k, I, I would say if you're 2k, if you can try and keep, off the pace. keep your laps in the early 130s into the 129s. Gotta remember, during the race, you're gonna have that long straight, which you can literally slipstream forever on and that's going to make your times instantly quicker anyway plus it's going to keep you up with people who are potentially quicker at the same time seventh position well we've got 11 laps left we'll do the rest of the 11 laps off the pace so once we've done the 11 laps we have to have a quick look at the times see what setup was quicker for us Sometimes it's not even about which setup is quicker, it's what you're more comfortable with doing, where you're less likely to make mistakes. To be honest, both sets from Craig's and what I've been sent have been Sector one very is good. .9 off the pace. Very, very good. Okay, we can cut a little bit of that curb. That's slightly quicker than Frank. I swear, I've, I think I've raced Frank before somewhere. Name rings a bell. 2.8k. Where have I raced Frank? Did I race Frank last week at Interlagos? Uh, usually when I when I do my races, I put the whole grid underneath in the video, so I'll have to have check that afterwards and see if Frank's one of those. What a terrible set of corners for me, though. Terrible set. Let's go put him about 1.5, 1.6 in front. So even with a little mistake there, I'm still getting the 129s, which is pretty good. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. He's got the throttle a little bit earlier there. Wouldn't have thrown me out as much as I feared. Ah, that's an off track. You... I think that was an off track, but I was still serving the last one, so it didn't count. Hyundai seems to be the OP car for this track, mainly because of the amount of curbs that are on here. In the Honda, I've tried riding here on the Honda before, and I just cannot get anywhere near the times that the rest of them are getting. So, a lot of people know this, and they've gone with either the Elantra or the Veloster. I did the Veloster last year, uh, last season, sorry. It did pretty well. This will be the first time I actually race it in the Elantra, though, which I'll be doing for tomorrow's video. But you'll go to other tracks like Donington, and you'll see a lot more Hondas. It's like the Elantra handles these curves a little bit better. Open, 128.6 is my quickest lap yet. This might break it. does but it's an illegal lap so that's much better though need a lot of concentration for that first corner this one don't skid around like that but I do feel that that corner is very harsh uh, turn 3 is very very harsh on yellow flags I need to slow down to give back the time gained YouTube said to touch grass yesterday, yes. Very sensitive on brakes. Oh, you're really high speeds, I find. Um, as Mark said earlier in this chat, you need to try and not depend on the ABS so much. So, don't always go full, full brakes on into corners and stuff. Sometimes you do need to brake a tiny bit earlier and just use 75-80% of brake instead. Just allows you to carry a little bit more speed and control into the corner. Like there. That was a good example of that. I, I just slammed the brake straight on and it just ruined how I was going into that corner. 
That's why I keep my telemetry on in the bottom corner as well, so you lot can see where I'm going right and where I'm going wrong. And hopefully, anyway, if anyone comes in here and they're not sure on the laps, although I'm not the quickest, hopefully where I go wrong, you lot go right. And that's the point in these sessions, every single Monday at the same time every week, apart from week 13. I take a week off in week 13 because I deserve it. But if you, uh, I just realised I don't think I've Sector I've one ever is seconds off the pace. Yellow flag. Describe my history on iRacing. So I've been on iRacing now for probably first year of the pandemic was when I jumped in. I wanted to try something different. I raced a lot of Mazda. I think the, got into Skip Barber. Skip Barber was my main my main squeeze for a bit. A lot of my early videos are all Skip Barber. I did Le Mans in the GTE, and um, Le Mans broke my PC. So I took uh, seven, eight months out. By that time, I'd got my first win in the Mazda MX-5s at Laguna Seca. I'll never forget that race. First four positions, taking each other out just before the corkscrew. I went through, held it for another three laps and got my first win. Nowadays, we do a lot of touring car. We did a brief spell in GT3 as well, but I, I rarely do. Now that the touring car has all these cars out at the moment, I I stick to touring car now, predominantly. I do a lot of oval stuff as well on streams on Twitch, uh, especially NIS, NIS, sorry, NASCAR iRacing series. When the series comes back up, and when does the NASCAR series start? But the full length races, I love doing them as well. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Yeah. <laughs> it had, there were four of us who entered, and it broke three of our PCs. Just through whether it's overheating or something. We, we don't know what it was. It was all different, different reasons for everybody. But for me, it overheated my PC and it broke something in it. So I built my own PC after that. And it's still going now. First win. Yeah, first win of many. I've won quite a few races. Some of them are broadcasted on uh, YouTube as well. First Skippy win, my first Ferrari win. Which would have been my first GT3 win as well, actually. Great exit, that's more like it. Short shift to fourth, see if that makes a difference. That is my quickest legal lap. Good lap. That's your quickest today. You're now 1.6 seconds off the leader's pace. Your lap time was 128.50. Rode the curve a bit too much there. A lot of this is literally just being smooth and consistent. If you lose track of somebody, just keep them within a second. And you can catch them up again after turn 7. Turn 7 is going to... Your main challenge on this circuit is going to be to get rid of slipstreams. Because if you're in front of somebody and they've got you in the slipstream, it is extremely hard to get them away from it. Great exit. Look at that at the top. Pure green at the top. Nice, thank you. We have five laps left. Not the greatest exit out of there, and we've lost a lot of time. So we have to get better at. When you break in in this car and you're at high speeds. It, it does still feel really daunting to me sometimes. It's something that that's my personal growth that I have to try and get better at this season. It's just breaking under high speeds and just getting much better control of the car. That is my personal challenge for this year. Now that I've got slightly better pedals than what I had before, I need to 
stop with the excuses and actually get better. Get good. Ooh, I think Ross went out. Sector one yep, is two point three off the pace. Okay, I can carry on uh, with this lap. Got one twenty eight point four. Wow, Ross got one twenty six. Jesus. Jesus. Those who are new to the touring cars, it's a good idea not just to slam your foot down on exits or corners. You kind of want to drive as straight as you can out of corners to minimise the amount that you're turning your wheel. As this will give you a lot more speed, especially on the longer straights. Ooh, Mr. Giraldo is in, is very quick as well. About to think Giraldo is around my sort of I rating, so. Sector 3 is 0 0.37. So carrying a lot pace. of speed into there. Nearly. Here we go, it's a slightly quicker sector. Nice and smooth around here. A little bit of a lift just so we can hug the left hand side. That, full pelt round here touch those a little bit don't hit that curb straight on sector one is not should have gone down to third for some reason we didn't just after the line start we're breaking to third going uphill so you can get on the throttle a little bit sooner i was doing this in first but doing it in second and starting your acceleration slowly before the apex works usually for me, didn't that time, because I had a terrible line. If you're battling with anybody, this is going to be the place to pass. You need to, if possible, two is off the pace. maybe do an AI session where you can learn how to battle people into this corner. I'm still not completely confident of it, though I am slowly getting better. Not a problem, my friend. I hope you enjoy. There we go. So one twenty-eight point six off the leader's pace. Sector three is casual as you like. Two eight off the pace. Oh, we touched the curb. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Please don't roll out into me. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> oh. Too much speed. Oh no. Sector 1 is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Luckily, the car will heal itself. I could turn my wheel more than 90. Yes. Slow down again. Uh, let Mr. Baker know to. Take her right. Oh no, he's gone off. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Seventh place, though. I, I'm really surprised with seventh. Really, really surprised. Not bad, though. We have two laps left on this setup. So let's practice how we're going to do our qualifying. So we're going to keep as close as possible there. And that's going to help us carry a little bit more speed over here. Short shifting to fifth is not the plan. Didn't help me uh, last time as much as I remember. Hey Gemma, good to see you. Excited for Boxing Day? So me and Gemma on Twitch are going to be doing a more stream of Police Simulator. Boxing Day is also going to be the day that I get banned from Twitch. <laughs> Weird how they uh, they coincide with each other. <laughs> Not sure I'm ready for the races. Ah, of course you are. There'll be plenty of accidents. We'll gain plenty of places.
So the devs of Goat Sim love my video. <laughs> oh no, that's was that the goat holding the eggplant? Yeah, of course it was. The I'm so tempted to ask you if I could post it on TikTok. Just. It's, it's wrong. So wrong. Right, 128.6. Sector 3 is 0. 0.42 off the pace. Control the okay, fossil. Jake, we're running on fumes, mate. Don't care. This lap. Don't In care. this lap. Okay, completely bad corner there. Two litres from the last eight. lap. Damn it. Right, all we can do here is just focus on getting quicker sectors. That was a great turn there. For daddy stuff. <laughs> On your left, clear left. Yo, I don't know how we managed to carry that much speed into the corner. Couldn't keep it up though. It actually caught me towards the end of this, Gemma. We're going for an hour and a half, so. In this lap. In good, this uh, lap. Good distance. Good length, sorry. Off remaining. the stream, off the stream. Now uh, we just can't get as tidy as we want it through there. However, I can honestly say that is that session went much better than I expected. The fact that even with the slight mistakes that we've made every now and then, we still went just as quick as our quickest lap is nuts. We we could get a really good result tomorrow depending on how, how strict the battling is. But no, nah, you lot have been awesome today. Thank you to everyone who has thrown over a subscription to the channel. Magnet, thank you for carrying on giving me money every month and yeah just everyone who has uh, done the SRL command and subscribe to the SRL channel as well for league racing thank you more people who join that the bigger the league gets and just means more fun right um do you want to pay for my fuel don't think we're gonna make it we're gonna make it to the line oh, I don't think we are Dying. Get to this side. Come on! Oh, we've got an uphill bit. Come on! Come on! Come on! Also, my green screen is playing up, so makes it look like my eyes aren't real. And the car's stalled. <laughs> but thank you all so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, Hit the thumbs up underneath the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the join stuff underneath there as well. Like I said, everything that goes towards this channel in terms of ad revenue and the joins, memberships, pretty much goes straight onto the channel, whether it's content or, you know, all sorts of stuff. Glass eyes, right? But we are going to show you now the quickest lap of the race, whether it's legit or not. Doesn't matter, boss is a machine anyway. We managed to get 51 laps done in an hour and a half, so yeah, some some quick people in it. It's nice to see a lot of personal growth happening with everybody else who's joined the session getting their quickest times as well. So let's uh, go over to Ross. I've got to try and uh, here we go. 
So Ross's quickest lap, 126.8. So we will show you all Ross's lap. But until then, I shall see you all tomorrow for our weekly video. Make sure you turn the notifications on so you don't miss it. I do also have a few more links while you lot are watching. If I can get those in quickly. Jesus, double figures watching. You lot are too kind. Too kind. So we've got our Discord. Got our Twitter. We've also got our Twitch as well. So hopefully that does all three. Go on, do all three. Do all three. There we go. There we go. So guys, make sure you click on all those. Check them all out. And yeah, I'll leave you with the quickest slap of the session so far. Come in. Jump in if you want to. It's completely free to do so. There's no damage, so you get more laps done. Less time in the pits. But I'm out. Let's watch Ross's lap. Take care of yourselves. Most importantly, take care of each other. <laughs>